Welcome back to SPTV, everybody. I'm Nano Munoz. And I'm Varun Mahesh. So, Varun, how was your winter break? Uh, my winter break was great. I had a lot of free time. How was yours? Mine was also great with much free time. I, I spent every waking moment writing college essays, so that was, that was a lot of fun. But uh, you know what is actually fun? Announcements? Announcements. If you want to change in your second semester schedule, make sure to submit the schedule change request form online by January 22nd at 3 p.m. For more details, check the enos. Freshmen, sophomores, juniors, and seniors, your high school and beyond plans are due by February 10th, and they are required to graduate, so be sure you get those done. Let me say that one more time. Seniors, if you want to graduate, you need to fill out your high school and beyond plan. Be sure to do that by February 10th. For more information, visit the counseling office's website. There's nothing quite as relaxing as going through all of those announcements. Um, now let's send it over to Henry for a drama update. What's up, Skyline? How are y'all doing this fine Wednesday morning? My name's Noah, and I'm Drama Club Prez, so you know I'm pretty cool. Um, I've been doing theater for about seven years now, doing shows in and outside of Skyline. My favorite show that I've ever done was Heather's at Seattle Children's Theater. The Skyline Theater Department has recently done a radio drama called War of the Worlds, and we're currently in the middle of an improv murder mystery that is soon coming to a Zoom call near you February 4th, 5th, and 6th. I really enjoy theater because it's a great way to practice acting in front of an audience that doesn't let you have any do-overs. Theater's given me a great platform to play multiple different characters and multiple different shows, from murder mysteries to musicals to Shakespearean comedies. I've done it all. It's a great escape from my actual life. I'm, uh, I'm actually, I'm actually really sad. <laughs> a lot of famous actors have gotten their start from doing theater in high school. So, if you ever think it's too late to join, I'm here to tell you you're wrong. Back to you, anchors. <laughs> whoa, whoa. But on a different note, have you heard anything about sports lately? Uh, no. But let's let Trace and Damien give the news on sports. Greetings, I'm your sports host, Trace, and this is my co-host, Damien. Here's all the information we know about fall sports. If you need any more information, make sure to go to the Skyline website. Here's a guest from the football team. Hi, I'm Shriko. I play QB for the Skyline Spartans. Hi, I'm Ennis. I'm the starting receiver for the Skyline football team. All right, we have some questions for you guys. So, um, how has COVID affected your training? Well, um, it definitely pushed everything back. Like, we were supposed to be done with our season already, but we're just getting started with practices. Um, the practices itself look way different. Like, instead of hitting every day and uh, using physical contact, doing one-on-ones with balls, um, we can't even use balls anymore, and we have to stay socially distanced. And we mostly, like, train our footwork instead of using physical contact because we have to stay socially distanced. And then we have to use masks too, and we have to stay in pods uh, based on our position groups. And overall, it's just very different. Very, very different. All right. Um, so which training sessions were harder, the ones before COVID or after? Definitely bef uh, the ones before. Um, we were lifting. We were, we were conditioning. We were um, going at it in practices full speed. Um, we still go full speed in practices today, but – for me, it's just not really that much exhausting as the ones before. And we can't even like use weight rooms or anything like that right now either. So like definitely not as tired, tiring as it used to be. Next question. Do you think it's a good idea to start up the football season knowing that COVID is around? I mean, you know, COVID has always been like a difficult topic for like this past year. I mean, school stopped and all that and all sports will like stop for a while. But I think that as long as uh, we're being safe and um, we're following all the guidelines, I think that we should be fine. Uh, how was it like not having a season on time? I mean, really, um, it was very difficult because everything just stopped. Like, it wasn't just football. Like, everything in general just stopped, and it really pushed back us working out, us getting stronger, better training, throwing around. Like, we couldn't really do that because everything stopped. Um, so as things started opening back up, like, we started working again, and I think we should be fine for the season, but it, it, it kind of affected us because it slowed us down a lot. Well, that's all we got for now. Thank you for joining us. Yeah, thank you for having us. Thank you. Uh, what do we have next, Varun? Uh, well, let's go to Brooke and Aiden to see what we have this week. 
What's up Skyline, it's Aiden. And Brooke. And here are some tips for becoming a cooler snowboarder. One way us snowboarders can you know, assert our dominance on the slopes is just throwing our board on the ground. We don't conform to the ski society. Need to be a good snowboarder, board stops. Always take up the whole chair. Always yell at the skiers. Pizza! Pizza! To be a really cool snowboarder, just sit in the middle of the runway. Skiers love it. Next, let's just move on to the question of the week with Cole, Cohen, and Aiden. What's your name? Brighton Bunch. What do you do over winter break? I played a lot of Xbox. Nice, sounds fun, I did the same. Hello, I'm here with? Brian Martinez. And I was wondering, what do you do over winter break? Uh, I stayed home and spent time with family. Very fun. This is question of the week, we're here with TJ Crandall. So TJ, what did you do over break? Um, over break, uh, I got a lot of sleep, caught up on sleep. I, uh, I hit the gym, I was lifting a lot. Um, I played a lot of football. And uh, basically, I just enjoyed my break, Christmas, and that was it. Nice. All right, what's your name? I'm Dominic. And what did you do over winter break? Um, not too much, obviously, because of quarantine. I mostly stayed at home. I played a lot of games with my family, um, opened presents and stuff. But I guess not too much. We were sort of just killing time, waiting for the break to pass. All right, thank you. Hello, I'm here with, what's your name? Tyler. Tyler. And I was wondering, what did you do over winter break? I ate a lot of food. Nice. All right, I'm here with? Keon. And what do you do over winter break? I went to Utah to ski. All right, I'm here with? Walton. And what do you do over break? Uh, hung out with some friends and lifted some boys. All right. We're in all good things come to an end, and this good thing has come to its end. I've been Vroom Ash. And I've been on the Munoz. Have a great week, Scotland.